Busy playing with her friends, little Sadiqa is unaware that her future has been sealed. Her parents have sold her for around $2,000 to an Afghan working abroad. She is not alone. This little girl, this little girl, and this little girl are all sold. This little girl is available for sale. When asked why these parents sell their daughters, one man, Abdul Aziz, loses his temper. We give our kids sleeping pills because they cry and ask for food. We had a life once. We were rich. Then the drought came. War killed our young men. We escaped Faria province to come to Herat. Since this new government came into power, God knows one sack of wheat has gone up to $25. How do we buy it? We've been living like this for three years. The parents say they sell one child to save all the others from starvation. 90% of Afghans now make less than $2 a day. Nearly half the country's population is facing acute hunger. One million children face acute malnutrition. Her desperate situation makes Sharina angry. She throws a sack of trash on the floor and starts yelling. We have no money for medicines, no food for our children. In this terrible cold, we are living on these rocks. There is no fire to warm us. My son has just brought this trash. We might earn five or ten cents from it. That is what we are worth. Sadiqa's father says his daughter is supposed to marry the son of the buyer once she becomes a teenager. But he acknowledges that once sold, the buyer controls her life. He can sell her to someone else. She is young. She doesn't know anything. Now she belongs to them. They can do with her as they please. We did it because we had no choice. We don't know what's in her future. Even as he talks to us, the people surrounding us start interrupting. We have nothing. What are we supposed to do? They ask. Then one woman, sounding angry and desperate, tells us, we sell our children like animals. Combating hunger is a fundamental pillar of our faith tradition. Of the earliest revelations, brothers and sisters, even before Allah legislated prayer five times a day, even before Allah legislated Psalm of Ramadan, even before Allah legislated the zakat. Imagine before you had to pray, there was one commandment to worship Allah and the second commandment that came down in the Quran. The second commandment was to feed the hungry. And the believers are those who give of their own food, even though they need that food, but they give it to others and they give it to the faqir, to the miskeen, to the prisoner of war. And Allah says, when they give of their food, they say to the person, don't thank us, don't thank us. We are feeding you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.